Valley Inco and Extrata Nickel announced funding for more than $2 million as part of a biodiversity plan announced by the City of Greater Sudbury. The goal is to enhance existing regreening efforts by increasing the number of plant species in areas already planted with trees and shrubs. Valley Inco is augmenting its, uh, its resource allocation five times to $250,000 a year for the next five years, or one and a quarter million dollars. Uh, as the program uh, proceeds, we'll look very carefully at the resource requirements to deliver on the plan, and uh, we'll be there to uh, support it uh, further if needed into the future. We're being advised uh, through the city and BTAC that an accelerated uh, liming and revegetation program is something that we need to, to continue. And from that, uh, uh, we will continue to look at uh, those areas that have been uh, reclaimed and revegetated, look at understory requirements, uh, get some biodiversity in terms of the vegetation to allow for the habitat to grow and give uh, some of the, uh, the wildlife the opportunity to return. The new habitat is expected to attract birds, insects and small animals to the area. By getting those plants there and creating the right kind of habitat for, for, for the birds and also for the insects and also for ants and beetles and all the other creatures that uh, live on the forest floor. We want to really build capacity in the community for uh, and raise awareness on the importance of local biodiversity. We want to educate our young folks as well as to the importance of that. And we've done that, uh, we hope to be doing that with uh, the fact that we now have a Greater Sudbury Biodiversity Partnership. That's a partnership of various ministries, professors in the university, um, non-governmental groups in the, in the community, um, as well as ourselves at the city. Residents can read the action plan online at www.greatersubbury.ca forward slash biodiversity.